Jason Cochran for Aftershark. Hey, congratulations. Hey, thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. It was, it was fun. <laughs> what was it like in there? Uh, it was crazy having four billionaires loving my product. I had a vision that, that this was going to be a great product, but I didn't dream that it was going to be this big. Yeah, you, you seemed a little bit terrified for a few minutes there. Uh, you were holding it together well, but I could see some tension in you. Well, you don't get to hang out with billionaires every no. day. Mm -hmm. And to have them catch the vision and know that this is a great product, it, it reiterated, reiterated to me that um, that I had a product, and, and I know, I've known that all along, but I haven't had that someone really, really have that excitement for it, and I just saw it in there, and, and that was great. There was a, a moment when, you know, am I going to go just the pure licensing route? Am I going to make these brooms myself, right? Yeah. Uh, was that a new way for you to look at things? Had you considered that, those two permutations before you came into the tank? Um, yeah, I looked at the licensing end of it, but I've always wanted to, to really see my product go out and not just have someone else's name on it, but I wanted them to know that I was the one that made it and I'm gonna be working with some people that can make that happen. You said also you're a stay-at-home dad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you like that, you also said that too. But Well, I, it's not something that you wanna do, you wanna take care of your family. Yeah. And, and that's where I was at. It was, it was a temporary thing. Um, and then I came up with this idea, so it became a little bit longer and my wife was supporting my, my, my broom habit, so right. to speak. <laughs> I had a broom habit, it, it was my <laughs> wife for the last year. year. My broom has been my wife. My, the sweet <laughs> There's not many people we can say that about. Maybe the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, the sweet, easy, scrape and go broom it is my, it was my wife for, for the last year. Now I can go back to having my wife take care of the kids, and, and who I love very much. And, and now I get to move forward with my product and, and be on the inside of what it takes. Did you put a lot of your own money into this before you got to this point? Yeah, we put about 25000 into the patents and, yeah. and in products and traveling and demoing and, and so forth. Was there a lot of risk? If this hadn't happened today, uh, what would have been the next step without this? Um, move on to another idea. Yeah. I, I'm an idea thinker. I'm a thinker. I'm, a, I'm an inventor. I like to think of things. And so I would have moved on to something else. But, but I knew I had a great product here, so that's why we decided to put everything that we had into it. Now, it was pretty great when you called your wife. But then O'Leary decides to call your wife as I know. well. I, I, that's where things kind of got crazy. I'm like, he's want to call my wife, and and then and then Robert's, you know, going at me that saying I, I need to make a decision now, and it's like, wait a minute, I have four billionaires. I'm going to negotiate here what's best for me and my family, for myself and yeah. my family. So, so that was that was my thought process. Hey, call my wife. If you're going to make a better offer, great, let's do it. You know, and uh, let me consider it. You know, let's make this thing. Let's make this monumental. I don't care. Seems like O'Leary was also trying to confuse you a little bit, you know, throwing more information. No, oh, don't listen to them. Listen to me. Were you falling for it? Was there a moment when you wavered? No, I, you know, I have nothing against Kevin or Robert. I, I, they're great. They're, they're businessmen, and, and but I felt all along that I was going to go with with Damon and 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 uh, Kevin. Well, you didn't show it. You didn't want to let these other guys it. down, huh? No, you know, I mean, <laughs> I didn't want to let them see me sweat, and no, I want to make the right decision. And, and I think, and I know that I did. I know that we're going to be a great team. I have the passion, I have the product, they have the mind to do it, and uh, we're going we're gonna to make it huge. We're going to go world, worldwide with it, you know? Any advice for people who maybe where you were a year ago, stay at home, need to, to find that next step in your life? How, I mean, you did something kind of unusual. You came to the Shark Tank. Not everyone can. Sure, and, and there's a lot of advice out there. There's a lot of people that want to tell you what to do. Overall, the best thing to do is to just just believe in your product and and... and be persistent. I've been persistent for the last year. I haven't gotten into every door I wanted to go into, but I knew that eventually the doors would open up. So don't stop. That's my number one thing that I would say is don't stop what you're doing. Do you need to drop your savings into making the product happen? How much is too much? If you have a great product, there's going to be people that want to throw money at it. I'm just within the last four months, I've had people wanting to throw forty, fifty thousand dollars at my product, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I had everything in order before we went that route. You seemed like you had your pitch down. I've demonstrated to so many restaurants, uh, fast food restaurants, convenience stores, hospitals, universities, movie theaters, and it, it, it's, it's a jaw dropper. Whenever I show it, people jump out of their shoes. They want it now. And that's been my main thing is going, okay, how do I go about that? How do I get in there with, with a manufacturer or what do I do? And that's where, I'm, that's where I was at. And I know with, with uh, Kevin and, and, 
and Damon were going to be able to do that. And it sounds like you were also smart enough not to jump at the first offer that came along up until today. You know, you've got, had other people looking at it. I'm sure other people have offered. It just wasn't the right thing until now. Yeah, I, because I didn't feel like we could get the exposure that I can get here. And when Shark Tank called me and said, hey, we liked your product a little yep. bit. Can we, can we move forward? I know with the, with the Sharks, you know, with Kevin and Damon, we're going to be able to move forward with it and, and make a great team. I, I'm Nothing else. You've been on national TV already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, and, and there's other parents out there that are scraping up oatmeal on the floors with their kids or people with pets. In all these restaurants, all these universities and hospitals, they're going to they're gonna love it. I mean, they're, they're going to use it like I use mine every day. Yep. you got a problem in your everyday life. Maybe you can come up with an idea that will make you some money, too. Exactly. Well, Shane, congratulations uh, on job well done in the tank. You're a model for stay-at-home dads and moms everywhere. Thank you, Jason.